Hey, this is the how to set up your Facebook ad account section and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a Facebook ad account so you can advertise your e-commerce store on Facebook or Instagram. Instagram is owned by Facebook so you need an ad account on Facebook to run Instagram ads. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Facebook. We're going to go to Ads Manager. And if you don't see Ads Manager, simply type in Ads Manager up here and uh, you're going to come to the facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manager and this is uh, the back end you're going to see. Um, right now you'll see this is under my name, uh, it's, it says Ads Manager and it's got my ad account right there. What we're going to do is uh, for today's purpose create a brand new ad account for, for a Shopify store um, that we just started. So we're going to click up here with this hamburgers app. We're going to go down to business settings. Uh, for this recording, I'm going to just choose the agencies business and it takes us to the back end of the business settings. As you see, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. In this instance, we're going to go over here to the left, add accounts. We're going to click add and we're going to click create a new ad account. And we're going to name this ad account new e-commerce store. No capital T. Oh, and there's three M's. Let's get rid of that one. There you go. Uh, we're going to click Add Ad Account. It's going to tell uh, who's going to have access here. We're going to skip that for now. We're going to click Close. Now we have a, an ad account for the new e-commerce store. Now in order to have uh, someone access this to essentially run ads for you, you're going to go up here to People. Under people, you're going to see a few names. If you need to add them, just click simply click add. Uh, you're going to give them employee or admin access. Uh, say you want to have your friend, your girlfriend, your mom, your wife, or agency, whoever it may be, have access to your business manager. You're going to add them to your business manager here. And then when you go to the ad account, you're going to choose the ad account and you're going to add people there. And those people's names will show up. So um, that is how we add a new ad account. Now, how do we use this ad account? Here's the significant question. Um, what we're going to do in this adding new ad account is we want to use this ad account to run ads on a certain page. So we're going to need to have our page inside our business manager. So we want to go to here, add new page. Uh, we don't want to create a new business page. We're going to request access to a page or add a page. So I think you've already created your business page on Facebook, so we're going to click add a page. Your business already owns this page and you need to own it in your business manager. So we're going to click add a page and then we're going to find which Facebook page that is. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to find what your URL for your Facebook page name is. So for this instance, um, I'll just choose one of my bucks. Let's say, okay, an ad account. So I have a page created. All these pages right here are for pages that I have admin access to or own. So I would choose any one of these pages. So let's just say creating a page for Bucks of Iowa. Now I've added that page into my uh, ad account. So click add page. I'm not going to do that for this practices, but what that's going to do is it'll add your page here. And now what that's saying is your ad account has access to this page to run ads uh, by these people. Um, and the last section that we need to do is we're going to need to create a pixel for your e-commerce store. So let's click pixel and we're going to click that page that we, uh, you know, we're going to need to find a pixel for. So let's just, uh, we're going to create a new pixel for your new ad account. And in order to create a new pixel for your ad account, you're going to have to go up to your business settings hamburger again. Go down to pixels, and as this opens up, it's going to ask us what pixels we have. As you see right here, this is at the ad, the business um, uh, business account inside Facebook. Excuse me, and this is showing all of the pixels that are owned by the business ad account. Um, so we're going to want to make sure that we choose the correct business account uh, for it. Let's just say I choose uh, you know, Cody Near and we're going to create a new pixel so we click create pixel and we can leave it as uh, Cody Nears pixel and test e-commerce pixel and click create now what are we going to do with this pixel is the biggest question 
So we're gonna take this pixel and we're gonna put this on our e-commerce Shopify store. Where do we put that? Uh, I'll show you. So there's three options here. We're gonna choose to manually install the code yourself because you're only gonna have to, because Shopify is so awesome, you're only gonna have to place the number code in a certain spot in the back end of Shopify. So we're gonna click manually install the code yourself. <clears throat> we're gonna scroll down a little bit and you're gonna see there's a whole a uh, bunch of things they're requesting you to do. We're only gonna need to pick the pixel number. Well, as you see right here inside this big source code right here, you'll see there's a pixel number right there. That's the only number we need to pull. That's our pixel ID. And if you notice, if we click out of this, that pixel ID is right there. So we can go ahead and just copy this pixel ID, Command C, and we're gonna go into a Shopify store and uh, I'm gonna show you where you would place that pixel so let's do uh, Bucks of America and we're gonna go down here to online store and we're gonna click preferences now inside the preferences you're gonna see there's a Google Analytics and a Facebook pixel ID we simply place that number there's gonna be a box that looks like looks like this right here we're going to place that number right there and click save. There's going to be save buttons right there. And when we click save um, on that Shopify backend, your pixel is now tracking everything you just created for your Facebook page, uh, on your website, people who add to cart, people who viewed products. This pixel is now working for you that you created. Uh, so that is everything from creating an ad account adding people to your ad account, creating, uh, adding your payment information, and creating the pixel for your Shopify store all in one. I hope this stuff helps, and um, good luck. Thank you, guys.